Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about Kama AI's new hardware kit. I'm going to show you guys all the components and the old version 1 hardware and some of the differences between them. So let's get started. First thing is the new panda. Here is an example of the old panda. As you can see, they're around the same size, but this one has an OBD2 port, where this one is just simply USB-C and USB-A, as you can see there. So it's a smaller case. This is made. This is also got the GPS that you would have attached to the Panda built into it. So really, this is those two components put together into one. So a much smaller package and this is kind of a better overall design made to simplify everything and give you a lot cleaner look. So next up is the new what essentially is giraffe which this is the relay and then here is your giraffe component and that is replacing this here. So the original giraffe was big, bulky. Um, you had to remove your uh, front cover off of the forward-facing camera to install this, and you couldn't put it back on. The Panda mounted right here, so it made it even bigger and bulkier. Wasn't really great for people who like a clean install. And as you can see, you originally had dip switches to switch between different configurations from stock to open pilot. Now, this is a relay unit that basically auto switches based on, you know, what input signals it's getting here. So, a much smaller package and you can buy these if you don't have a car that is officially supported yet, you can buy these with just the wires and without the uh, connectors for the camera, and then you can buy your own on Mauser or a DigiKey, someplace like that, and build your own harness. So they will sell you the harness without uh, the connectors on it, if that's what you're wanting to use. And of course, now, this is the only difference between from car to car, is the, just these wires right here. So it simplifies everything, makes it a lot easier for people to adapt to newer cars and different cars and update. So a much better design. And of course the auto switching is great and makes it a lot easier when you're switching from open pilot to stock and back again. And to continue with that, we originally had comma power on Toyota that was necessary uh, to power the Panda and the Eon before the car started so you wouldn't get uh, dash errors. Well this has now been replaced by a new comma power. It's a little bit more compact and you'll notice this one's a little different. It has an Ethernet port and also in the kit is a 7 foot uh, power over Ethernet cable. So this no longer just does power, you'll see it has a few more connectors in there. It actually has CAN bus routing too. So now you have access to your OBD2 port CAN bus um, through the comma power unit. So that will eventually be mandatory, well already is mandatory on all cars. Um, and if you're going to want access to VIN fingerprinting in the future and uh, you know, all the, the perks that may be possible by um, accessing the factory OBD2 port, you'll want your common power connected. And the only thing left is just a simple USB cable. So I'll show you real quick how all these things go together. This USB-C connects to the Panda. And that connects to the relay. The uh, giraffe harness, new harness, 
connects into the relay, this will go into your factory camera and this will go into your factory harness. So this is basically a Y connector linking those two and intercepting the signals through the factory CAN bus there. And then this USB will go to your EON and then right here we have the Ethernet port where you would connect this and then that will be routed through your trim hidden away down to the power and I use a splitter at the OBD2 port so I can hide this up under the dash and you still have access to the factory OBD2 port. Uh, the Panda will go on your windshield because the GPS antenna is built in here now. So you want this mounted with a clear view of the sky to get good GPS signal. And then you would hide your relay system under the camera cover um, and then route this along your headliner, down your A-pillar, and down along the side trim of the, the door usually and get it to the OBD2 port. So that's the entire kit. Um, if you want to see an install video of this, just look on Kama's website. They have an install video on their YouTube, which I'll link in the description. If you have any more questions, join the Discord. That'll also be in the description. And thanks for watching.